Hey, you probably want to know what is it what we are going to work on. And this project, what you see right here, this will be our end result on the, the basics of this course. Uh, this is our main menu screen. You see this map here in the end. And we will have buttons like play, options, and quitting the game. Our options menu will only have the basics like setting a quality preset. You can already see the, the quality changing on the background. And we also will have an auto set quality button, which pops up a confirmation dialog, which we can cancel. And we use that same uh, confirmation dialog when we press quit game. So let's click on play. Okay, so when we spawn, we will spawn here at this specific location. Uh, we are currently spawned with our respawn manager that we created, and that's actually working for multiplayer games. Everything that you see right here will work in the multiplayer setting. Uh, so we have a character, we have a locomotion system uh, uh, on this character. Uh, you will see this auto landscape, this is fully auto generated. The, uh, the colors of the rock, the grass, the foliage on it, etc. Um, what we also will create are things like an inventory system. And the inventory system will have recipe slots here on the right. And we have inventory items, equipment slot, which we can unequip. So now you see we don't have a hatchet. But if we double click on this, we will have a hatchet. And we will also be able to drag and drop items around in our inventory system, which I think is quite cool. We also will create things like storage chest, just like this one. And let's pick up this apple, this bandage, some milk, a stick, and a very cool sword. Uh, let's unequip this one and equip our sword. We're able to do uh, execute animations on this. So we can actually apply damage. Oh, and we also have deers. Oh no, the deer is going to kill us. Um, let me equip that sword real quickly. The deer is doing damage. And you see the health, it's 51. Uh, and currently I'm just going to kill this deer. The deer was ragdolling when we killed it. And now it is gone. So we have 21 health. Let's get some bandage. Double click on it. And now we have 36 health. Click it again. 51 health. Nice. Okay, so what's next? We see a pickup item. So you can pick up things like stones, sticks. And based off the sticks and stones, we can uh, create and craft things like this wooden sword. Let's pick up our hatchet and chop down a tree. But before that, please note the footstep sounds. So you hear this is spawning grass sounds. And this is spawning more rock-like sounds. We're able to interact with things. And we are able to chop down trees. I know the animation is horrible. The sound is horrible. But uh, it's all about the basic and fundamentals of it. Oh, the tree is falling down. And I hear an aggressive... Deer again. Let's kill it. Before we are killed. Yeah, okay, that was it. Uh, so now we have some logs and we can pick up these logs. And with these logs, we can create craft planks like this one. And with these planks, we can create uh, buildable items. Like this foundation. So let's double click on it. Uh, place a foundation in the world. And let's click another one and you can see we have a fully functioning building system with overlap detections. And currently it's overlapping with that stick and probably also the stone. And when you pick that one up, oh, uh, I placed it at a non-snapping point, but it's also fine. We also have ramps like this one. Walls. And ceilings. Nice. So we also will be working on a uh, building system. Another thing what we are going to work on is... Uh, oh, yeah, we can drop items on the ground like this. It has physics. You can pick it up again. 
and we can ragdoll and we can also respawn and we will ragdoll when we spawn in this water because we are not going to implement a swimming system in the in the fundamentals in the basic of the course but if we jump here <laughs> nice so the character was ragdolling was falling in the uh, uh, deep into the lake and now we have this respawn button and when we respawn uh, we will uh, select one of the respawn location that's allowed for this specific character um, so everything what you see right there is working for multiplayer so that's really good to know um, it's actually quite fun to make so please join with me on this on this journey and i hope you like it and as always if you have any questions during this course always feel free to reach out